Hi Owen. What are you doing? I'm using my flashlight to send Laura a message in Morse code. Morse code? Yes. Laura taught me how to use Morse code. Morse code is a way to communicate with others, using short and long signals. Each signal represents a letter or a number. You can use sound or light to communicate in Morse code. For example, if you want to send a message SOS, you could use your flashlight like this. If you use sound, it would sound like this. Three short signals, followed by three long signals, and then three short signals again. Cool! Can you send the message Lucas to Laura in Morse code? Let's see. L would be one short signal, followed by one long one, and then two short ones. U would be two short ones, followed by a long one. C would be one long signal, followed by one short one, then another long one, and a short one. A would be one short signal, followed by a long one. And S would be three short signals. Like this. Do you think she got the message? She's replying. Let me write down the signals she's sending. H. I. L. U. C. A. S. She signaled hi Lucas. That's awesome. Can I try? Of course. I'll just signal the word hi. So, that's four short signals, followed by two short signals. Make sure you leave some space between the first four, and the last two. Otherwise she might think you're signaling E. So, Morse code combines short signals and long signals to represent letters and numbers. Are there any other ways to send information? Yes. Take computers, for instance. Computers can be used to send information. But how can we give them that information? We do that by using binary code. In the same way that Morse code uses short and long signals, and combines them in patterns, binary code uses zeros and ones, which it combines in patterns. A zero means that a switch in the computer is off, and a one means that a switch is on. Every time you press a button on your keyboard, your computer reads the ones and zeros, and turns switches on and off. So, if you want to type hi on your keyboard, you would press the letters H and I, and the binary code would look like this. That's a lot of digits. I know, right? Luckily, Computers are much faster than us at reading the patterns in binary code. And they can take the information you give them, send it to someone else, and show it to them in a way they understand. I have a chat window with Laura on my computer. Let's type hi and press enter. Now the computer takes that information in binary form, and sends it to Laura's computer. Laura's computer then turns that binary code into text, which Laura can read in her own chat window. Nice! Are there other ways of transferring information using patterns? Let's find out by typing the question in our computers. 